I was very scared about him having to deploy. I wanted to be strong. I didn't know what to expect. I just begged God not to take him. This is a side of war you haven't seen. Hey, Daddy's got to go. The courageous story of military families. I love you so much. I love you. Back home while time stands still. A documentary by military spouse Elena Milioresis. Over two million troops have been deployed to Iraq and Afghanistan. Over two million families left behind. In May 2004, I became one of those saying goodbye. One of the millions of families sending loved ones to war. I had been dating Brian for two years when he deployed to Iraq. I was afraid I would never see him again. And like many families, I was totally unprepared. Three years later, I was still haunted, but I felt that I could help others by sharing the experience of military families. So I traveled to 29 Palms, California to document the journey of two families from the 3rd Battalion, 7th Marines. 26-year-old Denity and her husband, Lance Corporal Jordan Cochran, faced their first combat deployment. We met in college our junior year. I was on the soccer team, and we had the same major in English. She was so much more uh, individualistic than um, the other girls that I'd never known in my life. After we got married, Jordan was teaching, and I was working at Blue Cross Blue Shield. We had been married for three years when I made the decision to join the Marine Corps. I felt like I wanted to give back to our, our freedom. She was totally supportive. He went off to boot camp, leaving me to sell our house by myself, leaving me to move by myself. I had to quit my job, come out here where there's not a whole lot going on in 29 Palms as far as careers go. Out here, it was just literally stark desert. It's just crazy to think that three years ago we were on our way to start our lives, and we had the white picket fence with the house with the dog. But leaving behind family, friends, and careers is just the beginning when families must face the harsh reality of serving during wartime. He stood in the hallway of our kitchen and said, I got the news and I'm leaving. But it really doesn't hit you until they say, yes, it's a go. And then that's when reality strikes. Then you're going, you know, they're, they're truly going. The Albritons had been down this road before. I met 24-year-old Brandy just one week before her husband, Sergeant Aaron Albritton, was scheduled to deploy to Iraq for the second time. In 2005, Brandy said goodbye to Aaron when he left on his first combat mission. I was very scared about him having to deploy to Iraq just because of everything that I would see on the news. It was stressful for my wife, emotional, because it's, it's, it's dangerous over there. Our son, Elijah, was 14 months old when he left. My first deployment, um, she was uh, nine months pregnant. And I was almost about to deliver my second baby. Two weeks later, after we ended up getting in the country, one of our uh, lieutenants came and he woke me up. He announced to me that, hey, uh, your wife had a, uh, had a baby boy. After seven months in combat, Aaron returned home safely. But the reunion was bittersweet. His unit was already scheduled to redeploy in a year. A dinosaur? I just feel blessed that God has provided me with such a wonderful and supportive wife. And I appreciate the kids because, you know, they, they are young, but they are having, they're having to sacrifice. I knew it was going to come up again. and. I had prepared myself before this deployment, actually. They had a pre-deployment brief that I had attended. Families, a couple things for you. The one-day briefing primarily covers essential paperwork, such as wills and powers of attorney. There's action plans for if the dishwasher goes out, and there should be action plans if you feel like you're going to go out. So do you want coffee or you want? Where you get, you want some? As the date of deployment nears, training for war intensifies, keeping troops away from their families for weeks at a time. 
As you start getting closer to deployment, the reality starts setting in. The day we leave for deployment, I, I want it to be as simple as possible. I only wanted my wife to be there. I don't want to get upset in front of him because I want him to know that I will be okay. And he knows that, but at the same time, I'm like, wow, this, you know, it's gonna be hard to see him get on the bus and leave. I haven't really thought about the, you know, the saying goodbye part, so we'll see how I handle that when it comes. <laughs>